Hi guys, it's Katrina. Um, again, no purpose for this video other than to avoid studying for the test that I have in about 11 hours. Oh goodness, if you subtract sleep out of that, then I really have absolutely no time to study, but I don't know, I've just been so not motivated this semester. Anybody else feel that way? Like, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I want to do with this. I don't know why I'm spending money on classes I don't think I'll ever use in real life. I was literally in a math course um, a couple of semesters ago with a woman who was around like 45, in her mid 40s, and she looked at me dead in the face and said, you will never use this in any job that you're going into. And I just sat there and I was like, why am I paying for this? Why did I go through 12 years of school, of general courses, to have to take gen ed classes again? I am in college now because I proved to the college, uh, I proved to the college that I can learn by doing all these general courses that don't have anything to do with my major. But now, now I have to do that all over again. Honestly, the courses that I've looked into, like, the degrees that I've looked into, the courses that go with them, there's only about like 10 courses to do with the actual major and the rest of it is just general education bullshit. Knowing math is really useful, yes, but I'm never going to need to know what a thylakoid is. I'm sorry, and, and if you are, um, now in some sort of nice professional office job with nothing to do with biology, tell me if you know what a thylakoid is without looking up the definition, because I bet you you don't fucking know. And if you do, congratulations to you because I can't grasp it and that is what I need to be studying right now. Ah. Uh. It just seems so pointless to me. So pointless. Uh, and I mean, watching YouTube videos and people like, Dan is not on fire or, actually no, any one of the people who are on YouTube right now who are doing it as a profession, or like people like, oh hey Claire, who have like a freelance like awesome artistic like job and they're their own boss and all this and they didn't go to school for it and I'm just sitting here like I don't even know what I want to do why I'm in school I've I'm already a semester behind because I've changed my mind so many times <sighs> I don't know, I just wish I could figure it out. Like, my mother knew what she wanted to be from, I don't know, since whenever she could remember, she just wanted to be a nurse. I've changed my mind so many times. It's ridiculous. I know it's a normal thing for somebody in college to do. It's just, you go through existential crises. It just happens. But it doesn't make it any easier to know that people are going through it. It just means that a lot of us don't know what the hell we're doing. And that might be even scarier. So, I guess I'm just figuring this out. And I've been in school for two straight years without a proper break. Like, most people take summer off, don't do a semester during summer. I do summer semester and I work two jobs. 
I go to school, and it's just com whine, 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 complain, complain, complain. I don't know. Do you know? Any suggestions? What do you think I should do? How did you figure out what you wanted to do with your life? If you have an amazing job right now, and it's just where you feel right, how did you get to that point? I'd love to know. And if you're if you're your own boss, please tell me how that happened, because I would love to know. All right, I guess that's my ramblings for the day. And sorry for the crap. Sorrible? Sorry for the horrible lighting. I just sort of turned the camera on and hope for the best. Alright, love you guys. Bye.